Anyway, there's four reasons why the modern self in many ways is a very problematic thing. One is the modern self is incoherent. If you, if you go inside first and decide who you want to be and who you are, by looking at your own inner feelings and desires, the fact of the matter is, they're, as we all know, they're, incoher they're incoherent. They contradict each other. They contradict each other and they change. Even Freud knew this, by the way. They contradict each other. So you can't go in there and figure out who you are by looking. The way I try to make it, I, I try to explain this to younger people. I say, you remember when you were 20? If you, when you were 20, you could think back at your 15-year-old self and you realized your 15-year-old self was pretty much an idiot. <laughs> what your 15-year-old self thought was important, you're pretty much an idiot. But then your 25-year-old self could look back at your 20-year-old self and say, you were pretty much an idiot. Now, it, it, then it slows down a little bit. Your 35-year-old self can certainly see your 25-year-old self. You were kind of an idiot. You, you, you see what's going on? We're all idiots right now. <laughs> right now, we're idiots. We're idiots to our future self, if you live long enough. Which means, how in the world do you look inside and say, this is who I am? Because you're 30, you know, 10 years from now, you're going to look back and say, no, 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 no. Uh, a Christian writer, Francis Spufford, puts it like this. He says, if you really understand yourself, quote, you are a being whose wants make no sense, don't harmonize, whose desires deep down are discordantly arranged so that you truly want to possess and you truly want not to at the very same time. If you look at your desires, you will find that you're equipped for farce and even tragedy much more than you are for happy endings. So you look inside. Uh, the modern self is incoherent. Secondly, the